Well, good evening. We've just had a report of quarter size hail just outside of Morrill in Brown County. So one lone thunderstorm capable of producing severe sized hail is located in northern Brown County. That's a look at the thunderstorm. This is looking from Nemaha County from the Spring Creek Golf Course Seneca Cam off to the east northeast. You can see the on the left side of the screen there the edge of that thunderstorm as it moves over northern Brown County and crossing over into Nebraska a bit as well south of Falls City moving toward Rulo. That'll continue move off to the northeast. The severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 545. The severe portion of it is due north of Hiawatha near Morrill. That's where the hail up to the size of about quarters has been reported and possible uh, to continue at that size. There's a look at that hail streaking in from the west. And so again, that's where uh, we'll see that cross over 159 and move eventually up over the state line as well. There are additional thunderstorms, one popping up right on the west side of Holton, as well as more activity between McPherson and northwest of uh, Marion, as well in uh, northwestern Marion County. The front, you can almost see that line attaching that through more, uh, right now through Morris County, Geary, Riley, Pottawatomie counties. That's the cold front coming in. It's not going to instantly cool down. But it will bring scattered thunderstorm chances. We had storms last night. A photo sent in from one of our viewers of lightning in Topeka. Things have really quieted down and cleared out in the capital city, though. 92 degrees right now. Hot, humid day. Picked up about a quarter inch of rain. And after a cool start, we are back to that high now of 92. 92 in Manhattan. You've got to get a little bit farther to the northwest before temperatures drop off into the middle to upper 80s. Rain-cooled air around Hiawatha. But that heat index still a problem even behind the front upper 90s because there's actually slightly higher humidity temporarily right behind the front. Once this whole system pushes through, we'll enjoy cooler, drier conditions. But this initial change to a west wind is not dry air. Manhattan and Junction City, you know it's not. You've been outside muggy right now there. Southerly breezes ahead of the front, westerly winds behind it. Scattered thunderstorms trying to develop right along it across the area. We're being monitored for a potential severe thunderstorm watch along that. Once that pushes through, though, things change up a little bit. We're tracking the slow moving storm system that'll bring several rounds of showers and storms our way, but not all of them will bring a severe weather threat. Although the storms will may be more isolated to hit and miss along this front this evening and push on through, we may get additional showers and storms later on tonight into tomorrow morning. And so a pretty good chance for scattered thunderstorms overnight. A few early especially could be strong to severe and then cloudy skies, cooler weather, 70s for highs tomorrow and some scattered showers around. But then storm chances will return into the weekend. There's a look at this evening's threat area. Hail and high winds are the main threats could be put under a severe thunderstorm watch as the evening goes on. If it looks like the storms will become widespread enough to warrant that tonight down to 68. Mostly cloudy with some stronger thunderstorms, possibly some severe storms as well, but they will be hit and miss for a while. The winds will turn west and then northwest behind that front, cooling things off. Look at that high tomorrow. No, no 90s tomorrow. 76 for a high. Uh, showers during the day, but a better chance for storms returning late Friday night into Saturday. Those chances will go back up to about 70 percent. Scattered thunderstorms over the weekend with high temperatures generally in the low to mid 80s and early next week will gradually dry things out as we head into the middle part of next week. So maybe if running errands tonight, don't leave the windows down in the car with the chance of storms. Yeah, the, the, the locally heavy rain's still going to be there. Obviously flooding will be a concern, but mm -hmm. short term, yeah, you don't want your windows down. Thanks, Matt. An outdoor camping trip.